Hey guys, it's Phil from SmilingGardener.com and today we have a medicinal plants list that we put together for you and Haley is going to tell you why we started thinking about this. Well, okay, I started thinking about this yesterday because I went for a walk in the park right beside my house and I sat down on a bench to take a rest and this woman... Um, an older woman had sat down beside me and she had a little, her little grandson with her. And this poor little guy was just, you know, covered in sickness, like runny nose and eyes and all this kind of stuff. He looked like he had a cold or the flu. And this grandmother, she was so sweet. She was just totally ready to, to tackle this. And she had like a little bag of candies and she was kind of sorting through these candies um, trying to pick the right one. And she, she found one, she says to me, it's echinacea. And so it got me thinking that even, you know, across the, the ocean, there are a lot of plants that medicinally, um, offer the same properties. So we thought it would be worthwhile to discuss some of them. <laughs> yeah. And so we started talking about it and what it really reminded me of and this is kind of the most important part of the blog we put together, I think. What got me really excited when I started studying organic gardening was the idea of growing really nutrient-dense food and, you know, growing any kind of fruits, vegetables, nuts and seeds and mushrooms, whatever you do. If you can learn to create really good soil uh, and grow that really nutrient-dense food, then you're going to be getting just natural pharmaceuticals, really. The same kind of stuff that are used in things like aspirin, uh, you know, anti-inflammatory things, all kinds of natural drugs, really, that will prevent disease and just help you be overall healthy. So I got really excited about that. Um, but then we were talking about today, and we were talking about how there are some plants that are especially medicinal. And so what we did is we put together a list of five. We just picked five, really, that I have in my garden and that I've used in the last week or so. Um, and to keep this video short, we're just going to cover one of them in the video and the other five will be on the blog. So if you're watching this on YouTube, I'll put a link below and you can go check it out. And some of the other ones are pretty cool. We have like a, we have a, a leafy green, we have a flower, we have a, a bulb, um, we have a weed. So we have some cool ones, but we're just going to talk about an, another one today. So Haley, what, you were going to, you picked one that you really liked, right? Yeah, I thought it would be cool to mention fennel. Because fennel is a really awesome for relaxing the tummy. Um, it helps aid in digestion. So if you have fennel tea or fennel seeds, it's really good to um, maybe, for example, get a cup of tea, have that before a meal or after a meal, especially if you have something heavy. It's really good to, uh, to help settle the tummy. So if you've ever been to an Indian restaurant, you've probably seen that they have little dishes of seeds um, for you after dinner, maybe covered in like a sugary coating, something like that. Well, those are fennel seeds. And um, it's, it's a practice in India to eat them after a heavy meal to help, uh, to help aid in digestion. Yeah, and the other thing I like about fennel too is in the garden, it's just a great plant for attracting beneficial insects. Uh, it's, it's, it may be a perennial where you live, so it'll, it comes back every year. Or even if you live in a cold climate, it will self-seed quite readily. Um, and same with dill. It's related to dill. Uh, and so, you know, I actually tend to grow more dill because I like it a little bit better in cooking. But more of a medicinal plant is the fennel. Um, and yeah, I think that's the one we wanted to cover. So we had a question we were going to ask people. Yep, we were going to ask you guys, um, <laughs> why do I always forget this question? I don't know why you forget this one, because all we're asking people is what medicinal plants they like to grow. <laughs> and uh, yes, I think I even wrote it down you know, like what's medicinal about it and just tell us whatever they want about it because ob obviously there are tens of thousands of these. We just took five. So we'd like to hear what plants, yeah, people like to grow. Yeah. Yeah, so if you're not on the blog, check it out because one of the, the weed that we um, that we wrote about is one that I sometimes use in this ice cream that I make. So I have a little recipe for that on the website too. Cool. All right. See you guys.